Hey, so this week I got this giant Skelegod, and when I saw him, he was half price, and I was like, he looks familiar. I can do something with him. So I'm gonna make Super Shredder from the 2012 series. Let's, uh... So a lot of them I was able to just take apart, but then the rest I had to soak them in some hot water first, and then that made it come apart easier. Now I'm taking part of his boots off, because he's not wearing any boots, but he'll have some metal coming out of his legs later. I also cut off uh, the horns coming out of his head because I'm gonna add my own. He's gotta have bigger ones and pointed in a different direction and one in the middle. Now, because he's gonna have horns all over him coming out, I wanna get them started before I use epoxy sculpt to um, sculpt them on. So I have just some two millimeter foam. I cut a bunch of little pieces. I glued them everywhere. I'm gonna put a spike. Then I have some thin aluminum like craft wire and I glue piece of wire in for every spike and some of them I added some more foam on to make them thicker but now I move on to epoxy sculpt and I'm sculpting it I'm starting on the face and I gave him it's got more metal coming around his uh, chin or it's like bone or something it looks weird he's like metal and organic and um, mutated because he's super shredder he got turned to like a zombie and then mutated into super shredder and so he's got like it's bone but it's metal um, he merged with his suit I guess or something I don't know, he has organic metal growing out of him. So all these spikes and metal ridges that I'm building with um, epoxy sculpt. And so I do that, but it's hard to get a good camera angle. My hands are going everywhere. Now after 24 hours, that's dry and I start sanding it just with a nail file. And I just want to sharpen some of the edges and flatten some of the edges so it looks sharper, but still like organic and uh, metal. Well, it will be metal when I paint it. But first I have uh, white primer, white paint, and a little bit of black because I want a gray primer to um, cover him with, just as my base. Um, uh, so I cover his face or his head and his mask. And his, his mask is part of his head, but it does come off at some point. And this is like a Sith or a Psy or, I don't know, I made that, I made one side months ago with some milliput I had left over then I had a piece of uh, epoxy sculpt left over so I remembered that and it's like an eight or nine inch skewer that it was on so it's the right size for him so I did that now I mix some yellow brown and orange to get this weird kind of color for his um, mask slash face and uh, I'm using a deep red now to cover everything pretty much that's gray and everywhere that's going to be silver I painted black off camera and now I'm doing a coat of it's uh, daffodil yellow and I'm just dry brushing that over all the skin because he's got his skin looks like it's kind of like melted off or like you can see the red of the muscles underneath so especially on his uh, biceps there he's got like red bubbles so I didn't put the yellow on there but then I have a uh, I mixed with the yellow some brown and I got a bit of a flesh tone and then I'm going with the silver over all the parts I paint black that are going to be silver all the spikes and stuff he's got coming out of everywhere yeah now white for the part he's gonna have a heart and he's got like blue uh, green veins coming out and the heart is uh, yeah that's what it looks like pink and turquoise now I cover everything with a coat of matte acrylic varnish just to seal everything up and uh, get it ready for the next step but also and now that, that part is done all the painting this is a brown wash I just use on the skewer or like handle part or staff part of his weapon then I mix some um, it's a UV resin and I mix in some pink then I cure it with the UV light then I mix some turquoise and I fill in the heart a little more and then I'll cure it with the UV light and then I add a little more I'm just building it up a bit at a time and curing it then I move on to the green for his veins I just used the same turquoise and just added more so it'll be a little bit of a turquoise green and I put the white so it'll pop out more and you'll see the green I also added more green 
where there wasn't white but it's obviously harder to see like on his helmet I put a few dots and then the heart was a little too big so I put some of that flesh tone and now I'm putting gold on the butt of the sword that he came with I had added a little bit of the pink resin to make it look like a jewel because there was a little divot on one side of the sword but the gold doesn't really show even though I put two coats because I should have painted black on the butt of his sword when I had a chance but then I cut out a cape I just traced him before I added all the spikes and then drew a cape around it and made a template and now I'm just gluing some of the same um, purple shirt fabric around his staff of his uh, weapon there that I made so now he is nine inches he wasn't before even though it was sold when he was a uh, skele god, he was sold as nine inches. Thought I was done, but then I remembered I forgot to do his shorts, so I have some hockey stick tape, because he's got wraps around the top and the bottom of his tight shorts to uh, hold them in place, and they're purple, so I paint them purple. I would have liked to do a second coat of, no, I think I did two coats. I would have liked to do a third coat, but it was like, 12 30 almost 1 in the morning and uh, so now he's that's what he looks like that's what he was based on uh, it was tough to get it done because I spent a day working on Venus but that didn't work out but uh, next week I uh, may be best action turtles we'll see until then remember always keep your head up peace